Yo guys, what's up? It's Billy Blood 1060. I'm back, and I am so impressed that the last video was so easy to upload. I know that we can do so much more. We can do loads more videos and stuff like that. And thanks for the likes on that last video. I hope it helped you guys out a lot to get started. I do know that a lot of people might have had errors, and definitely some people will have had that library situation where you needed to fix that. Well, that said, that is on Mac for me, so maybe it might have been different for Windows. But, you know, without that, let's get straight into the next video. So, in this video, we're going to basically be making the base for our client. So, what you need to do is pop open Eclipse and set your workspace to exactly the same directory as you did in the last video. So, your desired location was and then your Eclipse folder. So if you do still have problems or your client still has that exclamation mark on, forget about the server and project, please let me know in the comments below and we will fix all that. Okay. So what you should have is the project explorer looking like this. Let's just pop it open and let's get started. So open up your source folder inside of client and you'll see all these packages. Basically a package holds classes that can be used within the game and stuff like that. Some of them may not be syntaxable and stuff. So yeah, I don't even know if that's a word. I'm too tired to be doing this, but you know, um, let's let's get on with this. I'm sorry if you don't really understand half the stuff. Tell me if I, you really didn't get it or anything. But I'm gonna try my best. I'm shattered. Alright, uh, okay. Let's make a new package. So to make a new package, you either use that or go up to file new package. But we'll use the icon. So new package, and we're just going to call it me dot your name. So I'm just going to put Billy Bob ten sixty dot client dot main like that dot client dot main. Now you should see that it's got a white logo and it hasn't got an R on it. So this is because we haven't got any classes in it. Now to start with click on the package whatever you've called it and make a new class so it's same as make a package but this time a class and leave all the rest of the variables and just call it main so the name is going to be um, client okay, like this and it'll pop up like this and this everything inside of here runs as code Anything out of here doesn't run as code, but do not write anything out of here just to be safe. It might not compile and stuff. Um, to comment stuff out in um, Java, you just put two forward slashes, and if you want to write multiple lines, put a forward slash, um, uh, whatever it's called, that thing, asterisk, whatever, and then press enter, and you can just keep going. And, write all your code and if the writing screen it's tabbed out it does have spell check okay so inside this class basically we're, we're calling stuff public so if i was to say public void which is a method that basically um you're not getting any return types from it so you can just run it and run it and you won't be pulling any data back from it so if i said um, my my void you don't need to write this but i'm just showing you if we for instance was in oh no let's not do that let's make another class and say call it test and you don't need to do this but okay and then in here we just have a class public void uh, sorry a void so um test void okay if in here we wanted to call the one from the client class we just do client dot and now this is where you'll see that it's not in here. Now, a lot of people, when they make hack clients, make something called a static final instance, which, to be fair, it's stupid because you just you could basically just make this 
so simple that by just putting stuff to static anyway. But basically what they do is they do static final client equals oops sorry instance you could call this anything you could call this do a um, instance equals new client like I said I'm going to be teaching you Java as well as doing this so there'll be a separate pay playlist for Java later on as you see this would could be called anything okay that's what you need to understand with Java once you've called something, so if I want to make a client here and I want to call it my client equals a new client, then we're working around that. We could just say my client now. Dot. And then my void. Yeah. That's a new client. It's a new object. But in test, if we wanted to run it, we just do client.instance dot. Uh, whatever we wanted, my void. You could call it because it's got instance. But what we can do instead of doing instance in public static final class in interfaces, we can do um, public static void. So we can make it a static void, and we can just call it in here now. We can just say client dot my void. It makes stuff a lot easier. And with this client, you're going to be making is um, basically not the hard coded way it's going to be efficient you're not going to need to worry about if your code looks nice it's a hack client I mean come on no one's going to complain about your hack client so just get your hack client done get it out there get the one you want and start moving on to new ones or whatever you want to do so we're just going to make it the simplest we can on my clients yes I do take a lot of time to make the base look nice but that's because I use the base again and again and again for other clients so let's start. So in the public class client, there shouldn't be anything, and there shouldn't be a test class. That was just for me to show you. So we're going to make public, oops, sorry, yeah, um, private and um, static array list. And now this, this is going to be null for now. Don't do anything with that. Just leave that if you really want. And now you're going to make a new package or forget about making a new package. Oh yeah, make a new package and call it just dot client. Oh, sorry. Just make a new class and make the package to dot client up here. Uh, uh, yeah. And then just call this um, module. So a module is a hack, basically. And that's above there and that's down there. And here you can now just go module. So this is an array list that we want to list a load of hacks basically a module. You could call this anything, you could call it module over. It'd have to be the same name as a module over here. But what I really want you to do is just to copy my code one to one um, one to one. So you got exactly the same code as me. It definitely works. And then you can start working out how the code works and stuff like that. That's basically how I started coding. Except from I had no tutorials because I couldn't find them, so I had to work it all out by myself. And so here, here what you see is you got a private static array list of modules. What this means is you can't call this from another class because it's private. It would have to be public. And if you just go like that, it's a bit of a sad way to code it. But that's. Um, you can import it from the class and stuff. Um, so here, all you want to do is you want to say client like this. Oh yeah. And now um, your this dot modules. So we're saying this class dot modules, which is this here, is going to equal to a new array list of module. Now I'm I'm going to do a series of a series. So this one is going to be called a special base name, which we'll name after we've coded the whole thing. I don't know what we call it. Um, and then we'll make another base, which we use hash maps instead of arrays and different hardened versions. Maybe I'll even try to go back to the coding stuff hard coded. Um, 
as it is well out of reach now because I can't even remember. I think we used to just have a folder of booleans and stuff like that. It was ridiculous I and mean, this is a lot more efficient and easy. So I I suggest you stick to this. A lot of the old tutorials use the hard code like so. Here we go. So what we're saying is we're now defining this to a new array list. Because if we were just to mess around with this without calling this, it isn't equal to anything. We're just saying it's a type of array list. But this is now a new array list, which is good. Right, so your next step is going to be making a void called public void register module. Like this. And inside the um, code, the brackets put in um, module module okay then inside of the whole code itself do this dot modules equal and dot add module let me know if you want the source in um, when we're finally done or when you want it and if you don't want it and you just want to try it all yourself and that's cool because that's what it's all about and then you get used to it Definitely copy me because if you don't copy me, if you do already know Java, then go ahead. You know, it's basically the same using Java just to make a hack client. If you're just wanting to know what to do to make the hacks, you know, then we'll get into that later tutorial. For today, we're just going to make the base. So, here we've got a register module. Uh, it's just going to register the modules, basically. Simple, isn't it? Right, now, this will do for now. Oh, no, sorry. Just make come down here after this and do a public static in array list module get modules and then return this dot modules is you need to um, public, make a new void called public static void register like that and you have to remove the this and stuff so the first thing now is just what it was before up here and then a new void called register and getting rid of the this basically just copyright on there I just uh, I'm probably too tired to code but it doesn't really matter Okay, so once you got to this step, what this means here is we're going to be able to pull the array list because up here it's private. It's more nicer and safer, and you you definitely get um it's more professional to use a get method instead of pulling the actual variable itself. So, yeah. and your code code flow is a lot. Let's move on. Remember, I'm tired, so if I do something wrong, it's not that drastic. <laughs> okay, so this is the client in here. Now, your next step is to go into the module class, which is in me.bibibot1060.client for me. Um, like I said, if you don't understand anything, just put the recording back and copy it or what I've done or something. So inside the module class, you're going to make a private string name and then a new line, private string name, um, sorry, um, int key code. So an int is like a number and always end a code line with a squiggly thingy, um, ah, oh, sorry, colon. If it's a very, if it's just a line of code and it's not like opening something like that. But you're, like I said, you're copying me, so you're really mad. Now, you're going to make a constructor, so just do module, and press control space. Um, yeah, that's, yeah, let's say that. If you press control space, it's going to list all the things you can access in that class, like key code, you say equals one, or something. but that's not what we want to do. We want to come up here, and we want to say, 
string name, and then a, ca ca a comma space int key code. Inside the constructor, do this dot name equals name. This dot key code equals key code. Now what this means is the name that they enter, well we enter in the code, is going to set it to the local of the module. So think of this as a, a frame for a car. Yeah, you have loads of frames for a car. One person goes and sticks some next gen green color over it and a shell, and they have a different shell. It's basically this is the car frame and you can go and make shells around the car frame and stuff like that. I could find better ways to explain it when I'm more awake. Thank you. <laughs> so now after you've made the um, starting method, you want to um, come down here and make a get method. So just do public, public void. Uh, no, public string name. Oh uh, no, get name, sorry. Public string name get name. Oh yeah, and then in here put return this dot name. Now you don't need any static things in here. This is like I said a car frame and we're gonna put stuff onto the car frame. Now you wanna make a set method to so do public void set name string name this dot name equals name. Now for let's do the same things for the key code public int get key code nah. return, return this dot key code public void set key code int key code this dot key code equals key code oh. what have I done? Whatever happened there. Okay, so you get to this bit. Now this is the important bit. After the constructor, so here, go ahead and make a public void on update. Yeah, you can just do that because you're not putting anything inside it. Then public void on render and again public void on um, on enable that's it public void on disable so what these are is stuff that we can use inside of our code for each hack uh, render would be to render stuff like uh, ESP, Nuka ESP, so the things around the Nuka blocks, um, traces, and then update would be stuff like fly, the Nuka breaking mode and stuff. So you use, you could use two in one class and stuff. Right, next step is making the on enable methods and stuff. Uh, the the enable methods. So up to the top where you got your things, your va variables. Go ahead and make a new one called private boolean, which is question. So, and call it uh, toggle. Now, what a boolean is is true or false. Okay, don't put anything there, but just keep that in mind. And come into construct and do this dot toggled. Toggle, oops, toggled equals false. Safe to do that. And then. After you construct to do public void toggle, and in here you're gonna say uh, this dot toggled equals isn't this dot toggled, um, in one of my other um, bases for a client. I do stuff a lot complicated. I have like key listeners for a module. I have um, states instead of booleans. 
and it's a lot more complicated so if you want something like that if you are really into java try and make one yourself and share it with everyone uh, that would be nice um but yeah as i said i'm going to be making more if a lot of people start to see these so in here you're going to after the this bit just put if this dot toggled so if it's just been enabled then on enable else on disable yeah you don't need an on toggle for now I'm just gonna go and simply get this to work and then you can obviously make a quick public void set to set what's that called toggled um really tog toggled Toggled equals toggled. So if you, you can change that to say off off instead of toggling it. And then another void which it needs to be there called public uh, public boolean is toggled. Return this dot toggled. Cool. What's that done? So go back into client and that's your base so it's a real simple base um, sorry for all the mess ups I was tired and I am going to do a lot more videos for you guys um, you may think where's my friend manager where's all that I did say this is the module base and we will be adding friend managers later on if people want to see that, I mean, people in the comments have to say what they want for the videos when I go to do them. I am next one going to probably do a few hacks like fly, uh, nuka, no fall, and then we'll get into some rendering hacks, then frame manager and stuff like that. So if you like this video, please like it, comment. It, even if you have any errors, please do make sure you, you do that so we can fix them. And subscribe. Yeah, peace out. Try and fix them errors. Bye.